Back. There is nothing like the excitement of Stanley Cup playoff hockey. For the past several weeks, the arena has been rocking, just like it did in the good old days. As the fans have turned out by the thousands, falling in love with and going crazy over their St. Louis Blues. Can you feel the emotion in the building today? Oh, absolutely. God, I play hockey, and I'm more nervous now than I am playing hockey. You know, it's, it's fun, though, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I haven't been to a hockey game in three years, but tonight I would come back the next game. There is no doubt about it. This city has fallen in love with its Blues hockey team. Look at the faces, the emotion, the excitement. Since the playoffs began several weeks ago, the screaming and shouting has never ceased. Fans have flocked to the arena by the thousands, keeping the turnstiles clicking and the ticket takers working overtime. The city's newest hero is this man, Blues coach Jacques Demers. And as he's fond of saying these days, quote, boys, hockey is back in St. Louis. Kozlowski shot, rebound, score! The Blues hockey team has excited the city. And it's got everybody on the edge of their seats with this game, you know. And you know, hockey's a hard-hitting, fast-moving game. And you're right here on top of it. And just the St. Louis Blues have got the city excited. Constant excitement. They never stop. Listen to the crowd. Listen to this. This is great. With the fans packing the arena night after night, it's made for some great people watching. In the crowd, there are oldsters, and youngsters, and in-betweensters. No matter what their age, they scream and shout for their St. Louis Blues. At times, the noise has been deafening, and at times, it's been a bit crazy, as these fans show support for the guys wearing the blue nose. You can feel the electricity on the ice, not only with the crowd, but the way the players are reacting to the puck. It uh, puts me in mind of the World Series. It's awesome. Do you scream during the game? I shake and I holler and I do anything I can. These are great athletes. I think they're the greatest athletes anywhere in the world. Back of the net. It's center. They score. Since the playoffs began, these great athletes have been putting on a great show for their fans. They know each and every time they score, it's like an explosion. An outpouring of noise and zaniness has been rocking the arena and the Blues throughout the playoffs. You know, and they've been behind us the whole way. It's intimidating for another team to come in like that. I tell you, it's fun out there. We've said it before, we've got great fans in this city, and uh, uh, it's nice to hear them come out and yell and scream because it picks us up a little, and uh, a lot, I should say, and uh, that's the name of the game. Boy, they're fantastic. I can't say enough about this town, you know. They're just great fans and great people. I've always said that this crowd was worth a goal every game, you know, and they get you going, they get you motivated, and boy, it's, I think it's the greatest sports crowd in, in uh, the NHL right now. St. Louis is going to take it all this year to Stanley Cup. I'm telling you what, this is their year. If you don't think Stanley Cup fever has hit St. Louis like a booming slap shot, then you haven't met this fan. He wears Lord Stanley's cup right on top of his head and says it'll stay there. Now that's pretty bizarre. How much time went into that? 20, 30 minutes anyway. Really? They're good 20, 30 minutes, I'll tell you that. And it costs a lot of money. I, bet I mean, this is aluminum foil on here. Let's go, Blues! While some show support with their heads, others are using their hands. This is Mark Reed's Jr., and this young lady spent about a week putting them together. She plans to give it to the real Mark Reed's for his birthday. But for now, Mark Jr. is just another screaming voice in the crowd. It's a tremendous countdown here in St. Louis, and the Blues have won it. They will advance. 
With each and every playoff victory, the love affair between this team and these fans has grown more intense. And the only way it's going to stop is if the whole city gets hoarse at the same time. After all, vocal cords can only take so much abuse. Tomorrow morning, I can't talk. I'm going to be hoarse by the end of the game. But I'll be screaming, I'll be hoarse when I go home tonight. You're a Blues fan, I take it. All the way. I love them. I love them. In fact, if they'd ever move, I'd cry. <laughs> St. Louis Blues hockey. It's one of the few places where you can kiss a stranger and get away with it. But most of the affection these days is between the fans and their heroes. It's a love affair that's blossomed on the ice and in the stands. This city has gone crazy over its hockey team, and fortunately, there's no end in sight. Okay, now...